the instinct when you feel overwhelmed is to actually do less. But the other secret solution is for you to be doing more, to take on more. <sighs> Studies are over. Okay. So let's talk about what it means to feel overwhelmed. So I want you guys to think about uh, being overwhelmed. So we have two kinds of challenges in life. Uh, one kind of challenge is something that I call a passive challenge, which is a challenge that we don't get to choose. So passive challenges happen to us. And um, active challenges are the things that we choose to do. So passive challenges is what life throws our way and active challenges are what we what we kind of throw at ourselves. So if I decide that you know, I'm going to like write a book one day, like I, I get up every day and I like work on a book or let's use a real example. So I decided that I was going to start streaming. And as I made the decision to start streaming, that's a lot of work. And in theory, it should be exhausting. But in actuality, like I find it enjoyable and invigorating at the end of it. Sure, I'm tired. But it's like a challenge that I choose to take myself. Um, and a passive challenge is like something that happens to me. Like, when I'm prescribing a medication and the insurance company denies it, and then like I have to spend hours with them on the phone to try to get a patient of mine a medication that they need, that's a passive challenge. Like I didn't choose to do that. It's a challenge that I have to overcome that like life threw at me. And what I want you guys to understand is that when you feel overwhelmed in life, there's a disconnect between your passive challenges and your active challenges. When your passive challenges outweigh your active challenges is when you begin to feel overwhelmed. So Lucy was talking about a maze, right? And like, we feel overwhelmed because there's too much going on. And the funny thing, though, is that the feeling of overwhelmed comes from a discrepancy between active challenges and passive challenges. So when life is throwing more at you, not more at you than you can handle, but more at you than what you throw at yourself is, is when you feel overwhelmed. So the fascinating thing is that there are two ways to stop feeling overwhelmed. The, the, what most people think is that I need to, life is throwing more at me than I need to handle. So I need to reduce the amount that life is throwing at me, right? That's one way to fix being overwhelmed. And the other thing to recognize about being overwhelmed is people who feel overwhelmed feel like they're not in control of their destiny. Those two things are synonymous. Being overwhelmed is not being in control. The funny thing, though, is once you understand this relationship between passive and active challenges, the other thing that you can realize is the other way to stop feeling overwhelmed is to actually add active challenges to your life is to bite on, like, choose more things about your life that you want to do. And the crazy thing is that as you start to do that, your sense of feeling overwhelmed starts to go away. And if you think about, like, what, what that's practically doing to your psychology is you start to take control over your life because if I say, like, okay, so I have a bunch of stuff I should be doing, right? I have a private practice. I have academic work. I'm trying to put together a study. I'm doing some consulting work. And so, you, and then there's like all this insurance stuff I have to do. I have to do stuff around licenses. I have to pay parking tickets. I have to get my car registered. Life is throwing a bunch of crap at me. And so the funny thing is when I feel overwhelmed, like one solution is to actually choose something that I want to do and just work on that. And as I add active challenges to my life, I start to feel less overwhelmed, even though I'm doing more. The instinct when you feel overwhelmed is to actually do less. But the other secret solution is for you to be doing more, to take on more, to start to take control over something that you get to choose in your life. And when you start taking on active challenges, you feel in control, you start to feel accomplished, you start to feel good about yourself, and then you automatically feel less overwhelmed. It's like a mathematical principle of psychology. As we, as our active challenges go away, we start to build up energy because Active challenges is one way that we expend energy, right? If I decide that I'm going to start Twitch streaming, I'm going to feel exhausted in about 10 minutes, but it's a way in which I'm expending energy. And all anxiety is, is unused energy. So as you adopt an active challenge, you start to expend energy and then your mind has less energy left over for anxiety. 
And if we think about like, what is anxiety? Anxiety is just energy bouncing around in your head. It's just thoughts bouncing around in your head that never go away. Anxiety is a disorder of excess mental energy. So as you adopt active challenges, you start spending your energy, you start to feel like you're in control of things. And then like the feeling of going, feeling overwhelmed just goes away. And that's, that's it. Like the more you get control over your life relates to like how much active challenge you take on. And the more active challenge you take on, like the less overwhelmed you're going to feel. And I feel like I should keep talking, but that's it. And it's simple. Right? So how do you actually get yourself to, to actually do things? So you, t you actually decide to do stuff. Right? So like, Lord Bullius is doing it. He started cleaning his room. You guys remember, like, Bullius started to feel better about himself when he cleaned his room. Like, why? Because before he cleaned his room, like, life was overwhelming. Right, Bullius? That's another way to describe, like, so we talked about a lot of feelings, but I would say that you felt overwhelmed by life. And you felt less overwhelmed by cleaning your room. So how does that work? We can use the frame of passive and active challenges to, to recognize that all it takes is for you to expend energy and accomplish something that you put your, your mind to, to feel like you're less overwhelmed and more in control. And then everyone talks about downward spirals, and there's some kind of like upward spiral too, where if you start taking care of shit, you're going to be able to take care of way more shit than you realize. Hey there. If you're enjoying our content, show some love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Let's build something awesome together. Subscribe for more now.